In this question, we have 34.5 grams of lithium carbonate, which has the formula Li2CO3. It's dissolved in water to form a solution with a total volume of 1.34 litres. We're also told the molar mass of lithium carbonate is 73.95 grams per mole. Okay, so again, we're trying to find the molarity of the solution. So let's head over to our reference sheet to remind ourselves of the molarity equation. Here it is at the top. Molarity is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume. So we've got M equals N over V. Okay, so that's the equation we're going to be using for our molarity. Let's first go through and fill out our known variables. Okay, we know the mass of lithium carbonate. That's not one of the things in our work table here, so I'm going to leave that for now. We know the volume of our solution in total is 1.34 liters. And the molarity is what we're trying to find. So right now we have two unknowns. The molarity is our goal. So we're going to have to figure out the number of moles of lithium carbonate so we can use that in our molarity equation. Now we are given the mass of lithium carbonate and the molar mass of lithium carbonate. So we can do a conversion to find the number of moles of lithium carbonate. So we have 34.5 grams of Li2CO3. So we can draw ourselves a little dimensional analysis table. We want to convert from grams into moles. So I'm going to want to divide by grams of Li2CO3. And I want to go into moles of Li2CO3 in this question. And my molar mass is 73.95 grams per mole, which means that one mole of lithium carbonate is equal to 73.95 grams of lithium carbonate. So that's going to be my conversion factor that I'm using in my dimensional analysis table. One mole of lithium carbonate is equal to 73.95 grams of lithium carbonate. So the top and bottom of my fraction there equal each other, which is exactly what we need for our dimensional analysis table. So now we're ready to go ahead and multiply everything on the top and divide by everything on the bottom. Any units that are the same on the top and bottom cancel. So grams lithium carbonate and grams lithium carbonate cancel. And we're left with 34.5 multiplied by one mole of lithium carbonate divided by 73.95. If we multiply that out, we get 0 0.467 moles of lithium carbonate. So what we did there was we took the mass and we used the molar mass in order to figure out how many moles we have. So that's going to be our N. So we can go ahead and fill that in here. The number of moles is 0 0.467 moles of lithium carbonate. Awesome. Okay, so we've done our conversion from mass to moles. Now we're ready to go ahead and use our equation down here. We're trying to find molarity. Our equation is already set for molarity, so we don't need to rearrange it. We can just go ahead and put our numbers in. The number of moles is 0 0.467. We're dividing by a volume, which is 1.34. And if we put that into our calculator, we'll get out a molarity of 0 0.348. So let's check that in our answer box here. Awesome. So we found a molarity. Okay, what's the molarity of the solution? That's what we've just found, 0 0.348 m which stands for moles per liter. Okay, so this question is exactly the same as the previous skill. We're using our molarity equation. However, if we start off with grams, we're gonna have to first convert that to moles using our molar mass and dimensional analysis before we can use it in our calculation. 
Alternatively, if we start with the molarity and the volume, we're going to first use our equation to calculate the number of moles. Then we're going to have to convert from the number of moles into the number of grams using the molar mass. So it's just adding that extra step of the mass to moles conversion to our same questions with molarity.